many things you can point to to demonstrate and prove that the human race is extraordinarily stupid. Mm. Daylight savings time. Hence, India doesn't do it. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. He edits. I'm Corbin. Hey, Smarties. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter for more juicy, juicy content. content. Thanks on Patreon. Follow us Twitter account. Ring the bell. We're getting scored. Bang! Bang! Follow us on personal YouTube channels in the description below. Uh, that's an intro. How you doing, Rick? I'm great. I love spring and forward, and we just need to leave it alone. I agree. Just spring and then let it be. Just like Paul McCartney said. Today we are doing a movie review. I'll do it for you. Of uh, the Hindi film 2012... Talash. With some faces we haven't seen in a long time. With a bunch of faces in it. Yeah, a bunch Just of faces in it. This is, I believe, actually one of our first masala films. Uh, I think. I, I don't know if this would be considered a full-on masala mm. film, but I think it, it, I think it's in that genre mm. of, it was a mass movie, obviously it has right. 10,000 stars in it. Yeah. Um, but yes, it's the, we haven't seen Amir Khan, I think, in over a year. It's been a long time. And uh, it's been a while since we've seen Kareena Kapoor. Yes. Uh, but this is uh, directed by uh, Rima Katki. And then it's apparently, Katki. apparently written by her, Farhan Akhtar, Anyar Kashyap, and Zoya Akhtar apparently all took part in some way of this story produced by Farhan Amir. Produced and, it. Uh, and then starring just Amir Khan, uh, Rajkumar Rao, Kareena Kapoor, Nawaz Siddiqui, Siddiqui, Rani, Rani Mukherjee. Mukherjee. Whew! <laughs> There's a lot of people in this. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so this is a 2012 film. It's uh, a crime drama fantasy. Inspector. Could do so. <laughs> Essentially, who is dealing with a uh, depressing past has to investigate a high profile murder case, deal with crumbling marriage, mm -hmm. and use uh, the help and solace mm -hmm. of a prostitute by the name of Ro. That that's, gives away that's a little too much there. But thankfully, not everything. Doesn't give away everything. Doesn't give away everything yeah. for sure. But it's under Spence for Review. That's how we like to do it. It's 2012, so it came out almost a decade ago. Uh, so if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It was, I believe it was on Netflix for us. Yeah, if you so haven't seen it, go it watch it. it should be uh, for you. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Went from being a film that I was enjoying uh -huh. and was like, okay, cool, one and done. I like it. Proof that it's a star vehicle where you're just going to enjoy a movie because you're seeing people you love watching. Gotcha. And then the last 20 minutes came. What changed? The movie. <laughs> it, went, it went from being a movie I was enjoying and just thought, oh, I'm glad we're watching this, to I really like this. I did really? not see that coming. The end. The end got you. I loved it. I, wow. It literally gave me a jaw drop. Really? Yeah. Did you see it coming? Oh, miles you away. You bastard. <laughs> see, but didn't that ruin it for you? I didn't. You knew, you knew she was dead the whole time? Yeah. Really? In fact, me and my... Me and my wife were joking while watching it. Um, if you've seen or read the um, uh, Christmas Carol, yeah, the Marleys were dead the whole time. <laughs> That's what we... You kept joking? Yeah. yeah. I, no. I am thankful that I very often maintain a certain naivete when I'm watching a film mm -hmm. so that when those kinds of things happen, you've really got to not be doing your job for mm -hmm. me to get it. Yeah. I, you and your wife almost always pick up on that stuff yeah. and go, yeah, no, he's dead. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, no, and he's going to come back to life at the end and he's going to kill her. And Yeah, but... So did what I, did you think? Did I love the film? No. Mm. But did I hate it? No. I, I give this actually uh, around, I don't know, a C plus? Yeah, I give, it a, I give it a strong B, if not strong a B plus. Yeah. Uh, because the last 20 minutes, I just loved and didn't see... I just didn't see coming yeah. the fact that she was dead this whole time and that she was responsible for the accident. Yeah. That's actually yeah. not the reason I didn't uh, uh, f as enjoy it as much as I wanted to. There was other aspects that, that could have made me love it yeah. even more, but that wasn't one of them. I actually enjoyed the story of it because it's, it's, it's a very, I think it's a Hindu style of uh, story because obviously she didn't get her last rights, right. which is what, which is what, what kept her disembodied. Kept her and right. she was trapped which is what they uh, they alluded to multiple times, Correct. and that's why his son was not trapped. Right, uh, and he he uh, he could still talk to him, but he couldn't. Um, no, ab ab 
what is it when they just appear? Ab An apparition. Apparition, yeah. yeah. The only people that are trapped. And so obviously he had to give her lots of rights at the end right. uh, to release, release her, her, essentially. I actually enjoyed that part of the story. I thought it was really nice. Uh, and I enjoyed a lot of this story. Uh, it was just certain aspects that was sometimes very melodramatic. And you know how that bothers me? <laughs> Even yeah. though I know it's a Masala film. And I'm not uh, angry that I watched it. I, I think it's a good one-time watch. I absolutely agree with that. Um, and I did enjoy a lot of the performances, most specifically, no hesitancy. <laughs> the man elevates everything he's on. Yeah, he does. It's just, when, like, every you're watching it, and you're like, okay, this is nice. Mm -hmm. And then he comes on screen, and you're like, well, this just stepped it up a notch, yes. didn't it? He yeah, just, exactly. he brings that style of weight. And then also, Ronnie. Roger. Yeah, Ronnie McCurdy. I thought great. she did really, really. I mean, though, we loved her in black. Yep. She's actually one of my, I think, favorite. And I think everybody overall, I think Karina did, did right well. Down. I think Amir did well. I think everybody did well outside mm -hmm. of a few supporting yeah. characters. And my favorite thing, it's been this way for a long time. One of my favorite things about Amir Khan is his emotional availability as an actor. He doesn't, mm -hmm. he doesn't um, project emotion, he gives you what he's feeling. If, yeah. If, if he's a projector of emotion and he's not really tapping into stuff, then he's the best liar I've, I've ever seen. Yeah. Because the things where he is able to tap into things where he is being genuinely emotional, yeah. I believe what I'm seeing is an actor using his own personal stuff and genuinely feeling those feelings. Yeah. Uh, it's It was just fun to... I was taken back to Three Idiots watching them on screen together. You know, I had that melancholic sense of nostalgia. Yeah. And I... It really did go from being a film, like the way I measure films, I was doing this, maybe this is probably my rating system. So like the ultimate is it's added to my favorite films of all time yeah. list. Yeah, that, yeah. That's the ultimate. And then the next best thing would be, I loved it so much that I recommend it to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause that could happen. Yeah. Then the next would be, it's a one and done. Yeah. So this I thought was a one and done. Until the end. Until the end. And now it's a, you know, if there's nothing else to do, watch we're this. looking for something to do. I'd like to watch this with Ashley and Alexis just so I can watch them and see if they follow. See if they pick it up. That's the big thing for this. Yeah, and I, to, will you find out the twist? I think that who I don't. It looks like Farhan did the dialogue. Anurag did additional dialogue. So, so the story is, was Zoya. Yeah, which is not surprising. Not surprising she, at all. We need to explore her, even though. She, she was essentially our first love yeah. in terms of directors because yeah. we loved Gully Boy. We were right. like raving about her. And then we, we didn't really watch a lot. I know she's done Dilda Hakmadu, which has a, a bunch of other stars. Yes. That's Renvi or Priyanka. That has right, like right, right. Everyone has a bunch of songs. We've, and then she, she also did that show, um, uh, Made in Heaven. It's about a bunch of different styles of weddings in India on Amazon. Oh yeah, that's, that's right. It might be our next that's series. Right. I don't know yet. We haven't figured that out yet. But um, I want to get back because I actually I like her storytelling. Mm -hmm. I think she's a really Very good, good storyteller. Um, and so yeah, overall I, I thought did I did I love it? No, I think oh, something especially towards the beginning. I think it definitely got better towards the second half of the film. Um, was they, they they for some reason really wanted to put that the same uh, one of the issues I had with Drishyam too. They put a lot of that over the top music behind it. Mm -hmm. Almost every single scene, and it wasn't as it wasn't as dominant. No, it as wasn't Trishium as dominant. Too. As too. But I know what you're saying. But it just it it, it takes me out of it. Like it's, I actually, I, that's always been a problem, for me, as you guys know, from from. Devdas to Drishyam to whatever it is. If it's over dramatic, I just can't get into it. Here's why it wasn't as bad for me. But the acting this. was not that. Correct. There's there's three reasons why that aspect of it, and actually toward the end, I was commenting on how beautiful I felt the orchestrations were with yep. the emotional parts. It got better. Yeah, especially when he's dealing with that whole freaking shape of water moment under this thing. The score during that was gorgeous. gorgeous. And so was his reading the letter from his son. All of the orchestration and composition underneath that I thought was really pretty. The reason it didn't bother me like it does in Drishyam is threefold. Mm -hmm. Number one, whoever did the master mixing for the sound mm -hmm. didn't push the orchestral score so hard. Yeah. I, feel, I felt hard. they did for the most part in the it first It wasn't as hard as yeah. Drishyam. Number two, it wasn't combined with zoom-ins on the lens on the character. Yeah, they didn't do that. <laughs> right? kind of... One time they they did a freeze frame. On, yeah, on, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't as overt. On uh, what's her face, uh, Karina. They it, they it like was, it was a big moment for her, and then they freezed. Right. <laughs> wasn't as overt. And then third was what you pointed out is the the acting didn't add to the melodrama in terms for of the over exaggeration. Part, yeah. When you've got the score amped up in the soundtrack, you've got the camera zooming in. Yeah, and the actor going. 
Yeah. Then you're dealing yeah, with yeah, definitely takes you out of it. Yeah. Which is why I definitely I, uh, <laughs> I didn't put it as I didn't like it. Like I, we did not enjoy Drishy. Right. Um, but yeah, that, uh, there was certain problems. There were certain supporting actors that I that I had some issues with. Um, but for the most part, I thought everybody did really really well, and uh, I it was it was definitely an enjoyable because I missed Amir. I missed him yeah, a lot. We, we haven't explored Karina, and I know she's Long time. one of the biggest stars yeah. in India that we just haven't yet explored. And that's not because we'd have a bias against her, it's just we haven't gotten to her yet. And there's been, like, the, I, I remember talking to Indrani about Karina. We've talked about every actress, and talking about Karina Kapoor and her talking, Indrani telling me Karina is one of the biggest sex symbols in, in Indian cinema. And for me, until this film, I thought, yeah, she's very pretty, but I, maybe it's just my type. She doesn't strike me as sex symbol the way that Ashwarya does or Priyanka yeah. does or even Topeka does. Yeah. But in this one, I thought she was really sexy. Yeah. In this. I thought she was very believable. Costuming did a great job of accentuating her shape. But then there were moments in it where it was almost so saccharine in terms of we're dealing with a prostitute and a cop. It almost pulled me out. Yeah. But it didn't. It kept me in, it kept me engaged. And I remember thinking. Are we going to solve the crime? Because if this ends without us solving the crime, they got they got like away from the away crime from the crime because it was it was more about his and his wife's Stem internal dilemma of obviously right. losing a child, which right. is, which I loved. I love actually his and his wife's dynamic. It was like we said, I think the two strongest actors were Nawaz and Rani. Yeah, I think they I both agree. did really really, really well. Really good. I loved their performances, uh, but I thought the, like that that whole dynamic of. Is he going to cheat? Yeah, even though I never actually felt it, right. but I actually thought it was a beautiful moment when he was, uh, they were on the bed, mm -hmm. you know, what's going to happen? And then she got him to go to sleep because mm -hmm. he hasn't been able to sleep. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Which, Ever. which is, as I'm watching it, I was like, you know what? This was a really good uh, uh, depiction of the fact that you don't have to be having a sexual encounter to be cheating on your spouse. Yeah, emotional cheating. It, yeah. That was, that was intimacy right For there. For sure. Um, yep. And I was thinking, man, if his wife walked in right now, and it was that whole human aspect of the story of him and his wife and the loss of the kid, I was glad they kept coming back to it. It was the heart of the story for yeah. me. And I, I, but I remember thinking, okay, if this ends without them solving the murder, mm -hmm. if we just did that to set the stage and then we leave it, I'm going to be disappointed. So when did you find out? Like, when did you find okay. out that she was, Here's, that she was dead? I was, okay. I'm literally, I was watching it and then I got it on my laptop and I'm in the bath getting ready to come here, right? Yeah. And I'm watching it in the bath. And <laughs> You're watching it in the I am, I'm watching it in the bathtub. <laughs> I don't have the computer, don't put your laptops in the bathtub. It was outside of the bathtub, not even close to it. So Never make touch toast it. in the bathtub. It couldn't come near the water, okay? Uh, I'm very wise in that regard. So <laughs> I'm watching and it was when she appeared in the back seat. Okay. She appeared in the back seat and I went, wait. Did she get in the car? And then I remember in my brain, I may have even said it out loud, because it goes back to him and I went, oh, is she street? <laughs> and she was gone and I went, oh, she's a ghost. <laughs> and then I looked back at the screen and she's standing in the middle of the road. Yeah. And I went, oh, it, I was a dork. And literally like this, oh, what's she doing in there? Oh, is she street? <laughs> oh, she's the reason for the death. She caused the car crash. Whoa, this is great. That's when it went from one and done to I really like this and want to watch it with somebody else. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad. Uh, so, yeah, were there, uh, outside of what I said, was there anything else that you, you, you liked, disliked, that you, we haven't talked about? Yeah, I, Nawaz adds a level of... It's like when Nasser got onto um, uh, Deborah. Deborah. Yeah. It's like when he came on screen, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> He added, and I loved, he can, he like Rajkumar, who I think did, again, just, he, he, he played a character who's just there to be there and be the straight guy and then be done, you know? He's not drawing attention to himself, yep. just has a couple lines and leaves, uh, but can carry a film like Newton, you yep. know? And Nawazuddin can do everything. He can play the most intimidating, dangerous, deep, Pankaj type of character, and then he can play the kind of a goof yeah you know and he, he i loved his commitment to his limp because i i can't yes. I, I, oh, I was you kept watching i was like are you gonna keep when he was yeah. running yeah and, and he, he of course he didn't of course Amazing. he didn't because he, he didn't just keep the keep a limp he kept the limp uh, the limp the it one he established distinct, it was the exact same thing throughout which is very difficult to do and i almost didn't like for a split second when he when he got shot 
And then she shows up. And he was walking like he wasn't just shot three times. Yeah, I was like, you just got shot three times. But in the end, when you look back on it, you're like, was he in the in-between stage yeah. right there? Maybe he was dead already. Yeah. He was dead man walking because he's seeing her. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's what I think because I was like, you were just shot three times. Right. And you're getting up. And you're getting up and What's talking. Up and then I was like, okay, it's dead man walking. one of those kind of things. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know. There, no other, and the answer to your question, there were there was nothing, some small supporting things as far as acting, but yeah. nothing to gripe about. Yeah. Um, I, I, I could be real nitpicky, but don't want to be. I think this is one of those movies it's that's like. It's a fun watch. It's just a fun watch. It would be, when it was in theaters, it would have been a great date movie. Yeah. Um, so you fun just, watch. You just go in with. Not obviously crazy high expectations, but just going in to enjoy a film and hopefully not like me and you're able to be surprised yeah. at, at what it is. I think that definitely will heighten the enjoyment of it. Yeah, and proof that if this had been filled with no-name actors, I don't know that I would have been nearly as interested. It, yeah. It's proof of what star power does for the attention of an audience. Yeah, and, and I would love, we need to get see some more Amir, and I know he has a bunch of films we haven't seen. I know. Uh, all of them. And Karina. Karina, Ronnie, I mean, because I, is Black the only other one we've seen of her? I think so. We've seen a lot of trailers and we've, in it. Okay, if those are the only two we've seen, we need to see a lot more. Oh yeah. Because, dang, she was fantastic in Black, and I thought she, she and Nawaz stole the show. And, and this film in terms of uh, performances. And so I would, ah, it was, so let it, uh, say Hitchkey. Hitchkey, that was the one where I think she has like Tourette's or something like that? Yeah, or? yeah, we that wanted to right? see that. We loved, we loved the trailer on that one. Uh, and then Bombay Talkie she's in. Uh, she's been a bunch of Shah Rukh Khan ones. Yeah, Om Shanti, Om Shanti Om. Oh, And then she's herself in that one. Mm -hmm. uh, Babul? 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 No, that's not the new one. I think that's the old one. Okay. Uh, oh, that's, that uh, Veer, Tom. Veer Zara mm -hmm. is uh, the one with um, Shah yeah, She's apparently a done a bunch with... Kal Ho Nai Ho. Yeah, Kal Ho Nai Ho. <laughs> I think all... She's acted with Shah Rukh Khan a lot. Yeah. And people are like, she's yeah, got, we know damn, that. She's got a resume. She's got quite a resume. But anyways, all of them, of course, Nawaz, you know that. Uh, <laughs> we love all of these actors. We need to explore Karina more. Because uh, I think she, this is probably... Cause, what have we seen her in? We've seen her this. We well, saw Three Idiots was first. Ed, uh, and then the, oh, um, the Shahid Kapoor one, right? Which Shahid? Oh, um, 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 what was that? The um, Love Story. The Love Story. The one that I liked you didn't like too much. Yeah, but I liked her. Yeah. Um, and it's interesting. I'm liking her the, at each, it's like with each new film I see, the more and more, you the like more, and more I'm liking her. Yeah. Well, let us know all of them uh, what the next film should be. What should be the next uh, Amir Khan film we watch? Let us know. Down below. And we were dead the whole time. What? <laughs>